Well, here we are, fourth series. We've made it. Yeah, we we got there in the end, didn't we? Eh? A brand new series of on two wheels. And I know who. Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. You're going to like this series. I think we've got a lot of fun happening. Yep. We get Lauren on stage at the Perth Motorcycle Show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we get you dressed up in a, a leather suit to ride a scooter. Oh, yeah, the scooter challenge. Yeah, we, yeah that, that was good. That was While good. we're on the subject of scooters. Oh, there'll be a Scooters for Hooters Day as well. Scooters for Hooters. Yeah. Is that what I said? Yeah, you did. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we've got yeah, great got new right. sponsors. We've got great new sponsors. Yeah. We've got, uh, we've still got Honda Motorcycles. Welcome them back. Yeah. Triumph, we welcome back. Yeah. Suzuki, welcome to Suzuki. We've got Suzuki on board now. Also, and Adventure Cams. Um, Adventure Cams, Steve yeah. from Adventure Cams. We've also got a major sponsor, Victory Motorcycles. Yes. I so, can't wait to be riding them around the streets. Yes. The, the new or the other American motorcycle. <laughs> well, the one that holds together, they say. Shh. We mustn't say that. Yeah. You never know. One day we might need them. Okay. Never burn your bridges. And of course, I've been looking around for, you know, every TV show and everything that's got sponsors with soft drinks, right? Yeah. We've got drinks like um, Red Bull. You've got all oh, the Mother. Mother, you know, I taste terrible, that does. Yeah. Um, what's that other one? Blue? They do want to know us. We're not their yeah. demographic. The, so, the, there's loads. There's oh, loads of different hang on things. a minute. I've just got it. I'm going to go and get it. Hang on. Yeah, each, great. What do you got? Each, and what each, have we got? Each guest on the show yeah. will now be given our very own. We're sponsored by a new company. Go on, Lauren, read it out. Who is it? Oh, fantastic. Pussy. Pussy Energy Drinks. They've, uh, they've come on board. So every Jeez, I year... can't wait to get that on my lips. I have a feeling you made them stop. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. I knew, this is well, no we can way. Keep you going can, and going you and can. going. Is you this can. for real? It is for real. It's real. It's actually it's actually owned by the Branson uh, oh, yes. kids. Kids, oh, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're adults yeah. now. Sensational. But uh, yeah, they'll get a, a four pack of pussy to take home. So sensational. Yeah, so I think that's pretty good of them. Thank you very much to Pussy Energy Drinks. There with us as well. Are you holding it? Yeah. Well, I mean, well, I've got one in my pocket. Pussy in my pocket. And first of all, for the series, I'm going to go for a ride on this BMW K1300. I've had the K1300 now for four days, and it's unbelievable it, how it handles. When I first jumped on it, I thought, oh yeah, geez, it looks like a ZZR 1100. It feels like a ZZR 1100, and they were, back in the day, were a nice bike to ride, but still, still weren't nothing like this. This is standard, comes out with awesome tyres. I've um, I pushed it through the weir. Um, through the Weir Road in Mundaring, and, and that's got to be one of the windiest roads in, in Perth that you can ride and ride safely. And it did not want to step out of line it, it, with the traction control, it had no problems around the tight corners. ABS braking, I could just I could slam the brake on if a, a car came up, and there was no drama at all. It just pulled up very nicely, didn't lock the back wheel or the front wheel or, or nothing like that. So it was, it was pretty good to ride, very impressed with it. Also, cornering, you think with this, it's got a 60 degrees rake angle, which means the, the steering head angle is actually 60 degrees out. Whereas the S1000RR and, and all your R1s and etc. are a bit closer. Whereas this, I thought, oh, it's not going to turn as well. But it's tense, so you didn't have to hang off it, you didn't have to pull it through the turns, it just fell into the corners very nicely. It also has this new suspension on the front. Uh, they no longer run original forks they actually have a shock absorber mounted up under the petrol tank and run two main legs like the old Springer type but a little bit better technology than the old Springers um, it, and I thought it would handle a bit rubbish but no it was very well also you can ch with changing the suspension as you're riding you can change it from sports to comfort to to um, normal uh, I didn't find much difference with the changes, but um, I noticed with the sports one, it was a bit more rigid, which is which is good for something like this. Then you can actually throw it in a bit harder, and you can you can ride it a little bit harder, and it doesn't wallow through the corners. But um, then you can switch it straight back to comfort, and it, and it just rides like a, a nice old nice old bike, which is good. So you don't have to actually push it so hard. It also has a, it's a shaft drive. Um, Best thing about shaft drives is, I think, I don't notice a difference between shaft drive and chain drive. Everyone says, oh, there's a difference. You can feel the difference. Oh, I can't feel the difference. I've been riding motorcycles for donkeys and, and I, can't, I can't notice a difference. Only thing I notice is when you get home, you don't have to wipe your wheel full of chain loop. 
that's the best advantage and also you're not wearing out a set of chain and sprockets every time you go for a ride or you go through the dust you're not chewing out sprockets it's brilliant i, I can't see why every motorcycle is not shaft drive it makes it a lot easier on maintenance you're not going to the shop every six months to buy chain and sprockets you don't have to stop and adjust your chain it's, 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 a, it's something that I, I think that every bike should have also equipped with this bike is a quick shifter I don't know if anyone's ridden with a quick shifter before but if you have you'd, you'd understand how much bliss it is to ride with a quick shifter what you can actually do is um, roll the accelerator on you can ride it at say 8000 rpm and instead of rolling off the accelerator or hitting the clutch to change gears you just click the gear, hold the accelerator at 8,000 RPM and just click the lever and up she comes. She'll, just, she'll cut the engine out for a point whatever of a millisecond just to shift the gear and it'll change as smooth as possible. You don't even, and when you're doing it, it actually puts a very nice note out of the exhaust. So you can just ride up and down the street doing the quick shifter just because so, it sounds nice. Also equipped with this bike is um, ABS. The ABS is unbelievable. Like, uh, some ABSs are different, they shutter, they, f they feel like you're sh the back wheel shuttering. But this one, you just feel the lever, it actually pulsates. It feels like the swing arm's coming up and down on the old, old school drum brakes. When you have the old, and, and it feels, feels totally out of this world. But you can press it as hard as you want and it's not going to go down anymore. But um, it does pull you up in a hurry. I, could, I was trying it out yesterday, I was doing um, high speeds and just grabbing a handful of front brakes and it just pulled me up very nicely. So um, I didn't wash the front wheel out and then I even went on a bit of gravel and tried it out as well. Same deal, it didn't, it didn't step sideways, it didn't, um, didn't do anything uncomfortable, it just pulled me up very nice. nice. Also, with the, um, I found with the um, traction control in the gravel, um, you can just nail the accelerator, dump the clutch and it, it will not spin the back wheel. Uh, like you, with all that revs on board, you think the wheel's just going to take off and start squealing, but it doesn't. It actually just goes doo -doo 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 and takes off very nicely. Um, wouldn't and doesn't step out, doesn't spin the wheels. Just another thing that's that's getting better and better with these motorcycles. And you see, with most of the super bikes, their their bikes are doing the same thing. Instead of doing a big power slide out the corner, they're actually doing the same. They're leaving skid marks as opposed to one big skid mark. Um, I can't really fault this bike, it is a bit heavier, it does take a bit more load but it's um, about 230 30 kilos and then you can load it up to just under 500 kilos which is, which is pretty good for a motorcycle for under 500 kilos to load it up and, and still rides like a sports bike. So um, anything other than that, I, I can't fault the bike, it's worth, um, if you're going for a long tour it's good for that or if you're just zipping around the streets it's still good for that, it's a, a good happy medium bike. You can um, you could use it pretty much anywhere. Yeah, you could take it around Australia, or you could just cruise cruise through through all the all the windy roads and and still enjoy both aspects of the bike. Now, mate, the BMW K1300, awesome bike. Sensational. Yeah, it's um it's different. It's different. It feels it actually feels like a ZZR 1100, but riding it is a totally different bike. It's like riding a BMW S1000 double R. Mm. We had some yeah. fun in the dirt there, filming you. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, got, yeah. yeah I think we had a little, few, couple of little problems, which we uh, we won't show, obviously. But, no, uh, no, no, yeah, no. Don't uh, show uh, needless yeah, yeah. to say, BMW did get the bike back a bit dirty. It was a little dirty, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, a, but a good bike. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. we put it through its ringers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. To, yeah. yeah. That's it. Uh, enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Yeah. So now yeah. another day we enjoyed was with this lot. Yeah. That uh, was Hunter great. motorcycles. Yeah. We had a great time with the Hunter ride day. Couldn't get any better. Yeah. And Couldn't. where do we go? It was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was that good a day. <laughs> you yeah, can't remember. Yeah. No, no. Um, we went down to Ravenswood. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah, down there on the river. Yeah, and stopped yeah. off at a couple of places for a barbecue. Yeah, and it was yeah. good. So yeah, uh, have a have a little look at this uh, Hunter Ride Day. Well, I'm here at American Motorcycles. Um, they're agents for Hunter Motorcycles. They're one of our great sponsors. They've just released this 350 bobber. It's pretty much something that comes out of a, a chop shop. Looks pretty good. Um, yet to try it, but we're going to go on a ride with Ben today at Hunter Motorcycles and uh, Hunter Ride Day. They're going to have the 250s there, the 350s there, the, and a couple of the bobbers, so it should be a good day.
we've stopped halfway. We've stopped off at uh, Dragon Bikes and Carts down here in Mandra. I'm here with Zoe. Now, Zoe, you're with um, Hunter Motorcycles today, I believe. That's correct. You're not riding a Hunter, though, are you? Not today. Now, what are you on today? I'm on an R1 today. R1. Okay. Well, you're going to get a ride of the Hunter. Have you ever ridden a Hunter? I have ridden a Hunter. Mm -hmm. A couple of months ago, I took one of Ben's... I think it was a 250 for a ride down mm -hmm. in Mandra and had a lot of fun down yeah. in Foreshore. It's all right, is it? He's great fun to ride. Good. Yeah. And you're on R1 today? R1 today. So are you managing to keep up with them? <laughs> oh, I'm just. Just yeah. about, yeah. Now, this is a new 350 bobber you're sitting on at the moment. Um, have you had a ride of one of these yet? Not yet. So are you going to try it today, do you reckon? I hope so. All right. Well, we may get a ride down in uh, Pinjarra, I think we're heading to. Is that right? That's where we're heading for lunch. Well, the guys here at Dragon Bikes have been absolutely fantastic. Dragon Bikes and Carts in Mandra. If you ever want to have a look at one of these uh, fantastic Honda motorcycles, you can. They've got other bikes, of course, as well on display here, and they sell all sorts of different bikes, trikes, all sorts of stuff here, don't they? They do. the uh, end of the journey. We're here at Redcliffe on the Murray with uh, the fantastic Hunter Motorcycle Group. Um, I'm standing in front uh, behind this uh, absolutely beautiful 350 bobber. I've got Ben here from Hunter Motorcycles. Ben, do come in, mate. How are you, Keith? I'm good, mate. How are you going? Oh, we see you again. Good. It's the first time this series, I think. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> we might show. So, you got somebody else with you as well? I have. Trudy. Come on, Trudy. Come in with us. This is a family show. We like to keep everybody in. Yeah. Now, tell me about this wonderful... Trudy. <laughs> now, tell me about this wonderful 350 Bobber. <laughs> the, um, well, as you can see, Bobber, classic, iconic Bobber styling. You've got peanut tank, tyre hugging guard. This bike is the only uh, motorbike to be ADR'd in Australia, rigid to be ADR'd in Australia for... I don't know how long, but since the 50s, I'd imagine. Oh, it had to be, have to be at least, since they since they sort of moved up and actually got springs on them, mm. and suspension. Yeah, so we've taken, it, uh, taken technology back, <laughs> wound right. it back, made it worse, no. but um, it, it's got a hydraulic um, shock absorber under the seat. Yeah, you can feel that, it does um, move actually. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's quite comfortable to ride. It's all right, but you've ridden all the way from uh, Perth, so we're looking what, it's an hour's, hour and a bit's drive to here. Yeah, oh, and more than that, more than had that. to get there first. <laughs> oh, yes, that's right, yes, that's right, you had to get the... Yeah. Now, tell me, peanut tank, I mean, how much does that hold? I think it's nine litres, don't we? So, uh, so you've only got a 350cc motor, yeah. fuel injected, so, yeah, five, so, yeah, okay. so you're going to get over 200 k's on the tank. Well, that's not bad, is it? And, you know, over 200 k's, you're going to want to get off and have a rest anyway. Probably. Yeah. And a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's, it's not a small bike, is it? No. It's, uh, lengthwise, it's, it's sort of the same length as a Harley. Yeah. I'm 6'1", Keith. Look at this. That's amazing. That's incredible. And what have you got on the front? You've got 21 is the front? Yeah, 21 inch on the front, 16 inch on the rear. Yep. You see the um, guard hugs the tyre fairly well. All this stuff here is to make it compliant, obviously. Yes. That unbolts, and you've got options there for customising, you know what I mean? So later on, if you want to put a little... Yeah, side mount. Side mount, plate, uh, number yeah. plate and stuff like that, you can do it. Yeah. Uh, pipes, you can customise the pipes, yes? We've, <clears throat> these are our um, own range of high-flow pipes on there at the moment. Yeah. Um, we just put those on yesterday. I've basically tried to keep this bike stocked so that people can see what they're getting when they buy a brand new kind of motorcycle. But I'll put the pipes on there so that you, know, you can also hear our accessories range. Yeah. I also put a 32 rear sprocket on this one to gear it up a bit. Yeah. 
big ride. We had big bikes here today, and you know, we wanted to be. We well, certainly kept up. <laughs> certainly kept up. There was no problem there with it. I mean, a 350 moto, it's it's not a bad size. Yeah, no. It's good. You know, I mean, it's a bit up from the t the 250. Obviously, would have struggled a little bit, but there's 250s on the ride as well. I see today. Yeah, so they had they had no problem either. So, and uh, pretty much the same engine, just with yeah, a 350 just capacity, and yeah. obviously well, with the. There's changes that you can't see. It looks basically the same with this um, uh, uh, counterweight balancing in there. Mm -hmm. um, there's a few other little things that we've changed on them as well, but um, basically it's some parallel between overheads. And of course this is lands approved, so... It is, yeah. So on, on your learners in, in across Australia you can ride this. WA is the only state you can't ride the 350. Well, yeah, we, we, we've got to catch up a bit, you know. We're only about two years behind. Yeah, well, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. You, seriously, go down and try one because you will be amazed. Um, if you've got every bike under the sun, if you've got Ducati sitting in the shed, you've got Harley Davidson's, you still, I reckon you're still going to go for one of these just because of the way it looks. I think it's a great looking bike. Well, Ben, that was a fantastic day. We really enjoyed ourselves. Thank you very much for your fantastic hospitality once again. No worries, Keith. It's uh, always a pleasure. Now, tell me, um, Hunter Ride Days, they're becoming a bit of a thing now. Um, I notice there's not only Hunter motorcycles on there. Yeah, we let everybody come along. It's, um, you know, there's people that have supported us that have started off on a Hunter, moved up to bigger bikes, and um, they're welcome to come as well, our friends and um, family, obviously. And, uh, yeah, we... <coughs> we um, we're sort of almost obliged to put them on now because we've got kids on Facebook going, when's the next ride all the time? They're always um, always keen to go for a spin with other, other riders. And, uh, yeah, so now, when is the next ride? Well, in summer, we'll probably um, have at least another one. And, cool. Um, the destination is a surprise this time. As it was last time. Yes. It was a bit of a surprise. <laughs> and what a pleasant surprise yeah. as well. It's no, a great place. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, they looked after us pretty well. Now, behind me is this fantastic 350 bobber. Mm -hmm. And how, how's the sales going on this little baby? They're going great. Um, yeah, they're... Well, you love them, so does everybody oh, I else. Do. Oh, I think <clears> they're <throat> awesome. We've got some great custom examples out there now. Um, some of the kids have you know, put white wall tyres, high bars, fishtails, all sorts of stuff on there. And, um, and some Nest stuff as well, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've got some um, yeah, Nestery offenders. Haven't seen a Nest one on the bobber, mm -hmm. um, but on the uh, Spider, they've done a beautiful job of one. Mm. So the, the Spider's now available in 350 as well? 350, yeah. All the bikes are 350 now. Yeah. Um, in WA, I'm still doing the Spider in a 250 until we get Lands Laws here. Yeah, we're a little bit, as you know, behind the times. A little bit here. behind here. So hopefully <laughs> that they'll, they'll catch up very, very soon and uh, we'll see. Now, anything new for uh, for Hunter? Anything new coming out? Yeah, well, we have um, Hunter Motorcycle Finance now, mm -hmm. um, which is, uh, it's, it's really kicked things along because, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of kids that lust after these bikes and you know, can't quite get the dollars together can now um, apply 300 motorcycle finance and get on the road quicker. Yeah, just sign over their life and that sort of thing and they're away. Exactly, exactly. Done. <laughs> That's good. Uh, um, got, now you've also gone into clothing. Yes, yeah, we have a bit of a merchandise range. Um, got oil skin jackets, two styles. Mm. A, uh, 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 what do you call it, bomber style jacket, so it's mm. like... Um, the old Levi 501 type jacket, yeah, but yeah. in an oil skin, and a Roadmaster, which is um, yeah, your iconic sort of, um, what do you call them? Yeah, uh, three quarter length. Yeah, yeah three quarter length. Like, yeah, yeah, like the old Bell Bell stuff. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. like the old stuff jackets. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and also, um, you, you're now doing hoodies. Yes, yep, we got some hoodies out. Yeah, yeah I saw but, that. Um, First batch just came through and they're uh, mm -hmm. just about all sold and we'll, uh, we'll get another lot on the way. They were really popular. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, um, where, can they, uh, where can they look all this up? Go to our website, huntermotorcycles.com.au. Look us up. There's a heap of information there. There's videos of the bikes riding. Um, all our merchandise is on there. And, um, yeah. Fantastic. And photos of our riders as well. Like a, a lot of our riders are... Um, uh, on the website in Riders Gallery, look it up. If you own a Hunter, you might just find yourself there. Now, one person who does own a Hunter mm -hmm. is uh, Paul De Fennec. He's, he's got a couple, actually. Has he? Yeah. yeah. Now, I, uh, this program, how's those? Mm -hmm. How's that been for uh, Hunter? Oh, it's been awesome for us. Mm. And uh, they've just, um, off the back of that, um, they're doing a movie and they're traveling around the outback now shooting a movie. Paulie's got his bikes with him. And uh, yeah, that'll be yeah, something to look forward to. Yeah, well, he's always you know he's always good for a laugh, isn't he? I mean, he's obviously you know a bit politically incorrect. 
What do you mean a bit? No, a lot. <laughs> a lot, actually. Yeah. And um, funnily enough, the people that he uh, takes the mickey out of the most are his biggest supporters. Fantastic, Ben. Well, we look forward to uh, some new stuff. We look forward to having another go on this sometime. Yep. Um, so it's huntermotorcycles.com.au. Get on there. Have a look at the fantastic range of products they got. Absolutely superb. Thank you very much, Ben. Cheers, Keith. Thank you. I'll give this a shot again. And she's never done this before. And she reckons she's not nervous. Ha! <laughs> All that crap. But I'm nervous. Peter Woods from Premier Events. Uh, we've just attended the Perth Motorcycle and Scooter Festival. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, well, actually, it was, it was a great event. We've been at the Convention Centre for the last three years, and it's a great venue for the bikes. They always look really good. The only thing is, though, we're a little bit restricted on a lot of uh, entertainment space, but you know, apart from that, it's just a really uh, great show. Put out as much entertainment as possible. Uh, we did the big stage. We put that up bigger this year, which Keith started on. Obviously, we know about that. <laughs> and uh, that was really good, and, and people were able to see the bikes, talk about the new releases. Uh, the stunt riders came up and Matt Mingo came up onto the stage and you know, his flames came out and all that yeah. sort of stuff. So it was just, it was a great event. Um, the, uh, you know, we did the come try riding sections and the freestyle um, on the back and the stunt riding in the back area. But again, a little bit restricted on space. So yeah, that's why we've got new plans for next year. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about the next event, which would be November next year, I believe? Yeah, first week in November next year. Well, actually, it's pretty exciting for us because it was in... Um, 
uh, 20 years ago, every two years we've been doing the bike show, we were the first major bike show to start in, Aust- in Australia in, in the sort of current crop. I think everybody saw us doing it down at Fremantle, everybody remember big on bikes. Uh, and we started doing the stunt riding out the front and the freestyle motocross and it was just really, really good and, and we obviously moved to the convention centre after coming out of Fremantle. Um, but yeah, that was 20 years ago, which is pretty scary for me, I was only a young bloke then. <laughs> so pretty passionate about motorcycling. Um, but so we've decided, uh, we've had chats with a lot of people, we're going to take it to the Claremont Showgrounds. Okay. And the main reason is there's 8,000 square metres of display space, which is really good that's for the exhibitors. Yeah. Uh, it's all air conditioned and everything, so that's pretty cool. But uh, we're able to use all the outside, we can use the bitumen area for the stunt riding, we can use the oval for the freestyle motocross, so we'll be able to get some really good motocross because we're quite restricted yeah. uh, what we're doing. Uh, we'll be able to have a um, come try riding area for people to learn scooter riding, so we can set up a whole area for that. Oh, we can do kids stuff with the a, with a small bikes and we can get kids to get onto bikes, which is really, that's what it's all about, getting promoted in the industry. Um, and uh, we're gonna, I'm trying to try and build a little sort of a small arena uh, motocross, um, arena cross as well, so see how we go with that one, that might be a bit ambitious. Oh, that'd be a um, but I really got the concept, went to the Malone Motorcycle Show a couple of years ago and they have this thing called Moto Live over there and it's just like amazing, they would spend like a million dollars on it because it's in, uh, they have 400,000 people over eight days come to okay. the event, it's the biggest show in the world and I'd, what we do here is just as good, uh, but just on a slightly smaller scale, but having the scope of the space at the Claremont Showgrounds I mean, it'll be a full day's entertainment, and we'll be bringing like you know the best entertainment we can get. Uh, I'll bring Matt. Uh, we'll come back, but I'm also speaking to other stunt riders as well. So, because we'll have a purpose-built stunt rider area, purpose-built Fantastic. freestyle area, um, and some kids area, come try riding area, um, and just really make it so it's just a big event. So as well as the displays, it's just lots of entertainment, yeah. and, and, and that's what we want to do. Few more people through. Uh, yeah, well, the numbers have been awesome. We've yeah. been picking up numbers as good as the Eastern States, which is great oh, for fantastic. WA. Excellent, yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, we're getting heaps of people there, but just going to make it more entertainment, more uh, for people to do. Um, people are wanting more stuff now, and um, we just want to make it, a, you know, we want to make the show. It'll be the 20th anniversary of, of uh, what was originally being on bikes with Perth Motorcycle and Scooter Show now. Exciting. Yeah. So, uh, for, for me, yeah, it's a, it's a big thing, and we just started the thing from sort of nothing, from just a, a bit of a thought. <laughs> My brother and myself, we have a few beers or not. Oh, and uh, yeah, we just sort of started. And then over the years, the Eastern State show started up. And yeah, so we're pretty proud of it. And uh, that's no, right, yeah. It was great fun. And thanks so much for having a chat with us. It was yeah. very nice to meet you. Okay, great. And um, I hope next year goes really well. It will. be awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, don't forget to vote for us at aurorachannel.com.au. Make us the number one show on Aurora Channel. And maybe we'll see you next week. <laughs>